All right, guys, I'm bringing you all the fall vibes. I even have my tea in here. Okay, so come on in. This was the number one question coming off of the Hershey, Pennsylvania show. We met so many amazing families and everything that they wanted to know was about this little tiny space. I don't know how big this is. What do you think, Breton? 10 by eight? 10 by eight, he's my camera guy. Okay, so we're gonna try to show you um, some of the stuff that we did to build out this bunk room. We're gonna put flash some before pictures on here. Well, we aren't. Rebecca Laurel, Rebecca Laurel Creative is going to do that, not me. Um, and then I'm going to leave you the link to my blog post that has all the links to everything in this room. And if I don't have something on it, I am super easy to get a hold of and I'll answer questions. So come on in. So we decorated for fall. I also have a blog post about this. Um, just being not at what you would consider a traditional home for the holidays, you can do it. It's just as fun. So you can see I've decked out the kids' room. This is all TJ Maxx, Home Goods, and Target. So the top bunk was a bunk originally. There was leather here and no rail. So this uh, rail was installed and the leather piece that was on here was taken off, okay? So this was already came standard in the Jayco. The stairs were built. So these were built onto here. They do attach completely onto here. They're extremely sturdy. You can feel I'm kind of shaking them. And then down on the bottom, this was a couch that we removed. You can see um, it came with a little table too. So we do have a rug here, okay guys? So this was put in, uh, in Britain, if you pan down, actually pan down over here. So we did some wood attached to the walls and then down into the floor. Your walls are not super sturdy guys and you'll, you'll find that out as you start to to build out these bunk rooms so all the weight and pressure is going down if that makes sense okay um so the bottom bunk was built stairs and then this rail piece that's really the only thing that's different on this side of the wall and then we also painted it with this high gloss white because we have kids and it gets dirty in fact it probably needs a nice good coat of paint again over up against the wall i think this is really important all the kids have their own little shelves these are linked also on amazon uh, these are just essential guys kids need to feel like they have their own space like they're collecting their own little um creatures and creations and we can show you amelia's over there she just wanted her little pumpkin books up right now she's got her little bat that says amelia so those are just up with 3m um little stamp things those are going to be your best friends so underneath storage okay i have little bins so the great part about building this i had it built up 10 inches was being able to get nice baskets underneath here that was really important and all the way behind this we have a full key size full key size we have a full weighted piano if you guys watch us you know we i do a one take wonder and i never watch it again so it's just who i am all right so let me grab my nice tea this is a peach tea by the way walmart again hey walmart i plug you a lot all right so this is new and i'm super excited about it this is an old um newspaper printer tray so they would put the little uh letters and numbers in there so we're starting to put some of our Junior Ranger badges in there. Not all of them are in there. The kids are putting some really cool little trinkets we have. We have their little table here. Now underneath here in the Jayco, this is the 2022. So we have two drawers. This is all stuff I don't get to all the time. I know I've blocked it with the table, but I wanted the table. In the new 2023 that we just saw, there's actually a beautiful built-in, almost like little bookshelf here. Um, it's two layers. It's really, really pretty and cool. Um, okay, so this side, this big side over here, this is what probably looks the most different. There was a desk here and a TV. We immediately removed the TV. We don't want a TV in here for the kids. And um, we removed the desk. So something really important to know, guys, this side, you've got a lot of wires that run through here. So you're not gonna be able to remove this. So if you're buying one of these bunk houses and you think you're gonna remove this, you're not because we thought we were and we didn't. <laughs> um, okay, so how do we build a bunk room here when this side slides in when you travel? So this slides in all the way to about here. So you're gonna lose a bed. So originally we thought we'll put it on a hitch, we'll do this, we'll do that. And then my brilliantness found on Pinterest a way to make a bed. So this is a mattress 
This is just a beautiful piece of wood that my dad made. And underneath, you can pan right under here, we store some of their shoes. These are little tiny crates from Target, okay? So it's the crates. I have six of them under here. The beautiful piece of wood, the foam, and voila, it's a bed. So on travel days, what happens is this flips up, the wood flips up, and all these crates push up against the wall. It only takes about this much room, so it's perfect. Okay, so <clears throat> moving along up here, tons of storage. Honestly, guys, this is a lot of their art supplies. So I have this all labeled, not for the kids, but for dad. That's just the truth. <laughs> so Play-Doh, paint, markers, pencils mom that means don't touch um so that's up in this spot up here are some of the little kids intimates i'm not going to show those but here you can see there's plenty of room so we have sweaters um one daughter another daughter our son and then some socks and stuff you can really see there's plenty of room in here um, especially for a season of clothing down here is a lot of their Montessori Tinker Tray stuff that they love to use. Down here, also some books. This could be used for anything, though. One of my favorite parts of this whole entire room is this wall here. We started to collect these. Um, this is just all of our friends and family that we're seeing along the way, and I love it so much. It means so much to me that we get to come back and look at this wall and think about the people that um are touching our lives in this journey so all right that is the bunk room i hope this is not too close i'm gonna be very sad i'm not gonna rewatch it though um up here i just put like a beautiful little garland um from some woman that i follow on instagram i think farm down the lane you can never get any of her stuff it's really hard to do so um let me know what you think i want to know if you guys have questions you know that Britton and I try to keep this YouTube super real. <laughs> That's why we never do any edits. This is who we are. This is our lives. This was your number one question coming off the RV show. So I really, really wanted to showcase this room for you. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. Any questions, let me know. I'm going to put the link to our exact unit. Um, I'm not. Rebecca is. On this YouTube... Um, and again, this model has changed just a little bit with those beautiful little bookshelves. But other than that, the model's the same for 2023. All right, guys, thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Thanks.